Hi everyone and welcome back to The Upside Dan. I am covering the San Francisco International Film Festival. Thank you to Sean from Lost in the Real because he convinced me to, you know, participate in this festival. I wasn't really sure if I was going to, but I'm glad that I did. And honestly, it's already been worth it with the film I'm about to talk about. And that is The Dry. Aaron Falk returns to his drought-stricken hometown to attend a tragic funeral, but his return opens a decades-old wound, the unsolved death of a teenage girl. The Dry is directed by Robert Connolly. It's written by Harry Cripps and Robert Connolly. It stars Eric Bana, Genevieve O'Reilly, Kiro O'Donnell, Bruce Spence, Matt Noble, Sam Quillette, Bibi Bedencourt, and Joe Klokek. The Dry is the second film that I saw at the San Francisco International Film Festival. Is it worth it? Should you check this film out when it comes to theaters May 21st? I'm about to tell you. So let me just start out with saying the cinematography here is absolutely great. Just very stunning at times. You know, it captures this small town feel and it captures, you know, there's wide shots that make you feel like, oh, this is, you know, the world is so big kind of, you know, of fields and dried up lakes and lakes and forests, but you also get this feeling of, you know, almost claustrophobia because you're in this small town and you feel that. You feel like you're in this small town with these small town people. And I thought that the cinematography here was just great with that aspect and, you know, the directing and the writing, the acting, they all pulled this off great. It really felt like a small community that, and you were kind of in it, a part of it. It brought you into that world and it, it let you stay until the very end of this film. So this is a crime thriller and I was, you know, pretty thrilled pretty much the entire runtime. There are slow burn aspects, but it's really interesting to me and it intrigued me. I was on the edge of my seat at times wondering who did these crimes because it connects through flashbacks, which is, which they use superbly here, I thought. The, some some movies, you know, they can't do flashbacks well or it's just to lazily explain the plot or explain a character's motivation or something like that. And it doesn't always work, but in here, it works pretty much perfectly. I don't think I have any qualms about, well, the film in general, to be honest, but the, the flashbacks I thought were written well, acted well, directed well. The actors here, especially Eric Bana. Eric Bana does a tremendous job playing this character, as does the younger counterpart to his character. He's a really good actor and they casted this guy well. He looks like he would grow up to look like Eric Bana somewhat. The rest of the cast here is good and they are definitely playing their roles well. Now, maybe this isn't that much of a qualm, really. I don't I don't really have any negatives for this film, to be honest. So we'll get to my score in a little bit. This is gonna be kind of a shorter review, maybe, but I think that, you know, you didn't get a lot of development for some of the side characters. This is a bigger cast, it's an ensemble cast with a lot of suspects, pretty much almost everyone you meet, you're like, oh, did they do it? Did they do it? Did she do it? Did he do it? You're you're not sure. And it keeps you guessing until the end. I didn't see this coming. I had theories. None of those theories came into fruition at all, but I was glad because I enjoyed this ending. The third act and the ending especially was just so powerful. Such a greatly driven plot and it came to an end beautifully, I thought. Beautifully tragic at times as well, but just a very powerful and emotional ending. It's gonna stick with you, I think. This whole film, I think, is gonna stick with you. I so enjoyed my time watching this. Yeah, you, with this ensemble cast, you don't get that much from anyone except for maybe Eric, pretty much just Eric Bana, to be honest, but I didn't, it didn't take me out of the film. I wasn't like, oh, I wish we heard more from him or her. It's just, there's so many characters here that you have to keep track of. And uh, and you're, you're constantly wondering who did this heinous crime and is it connected to, to what we see in the flashbacks? You kind of get two crimes here. You're wondering what happened, you know, in the flashbacks, who did that? And then you're wondering 
who did it now? Who who is doing this new thing now? And is it connected? So really, that's all I gotta say. Great directing, great writing, great cinematography, such beautiful shots here. Shots, like I said, that make you feel like you're part of this small town. What would I give the dry out of 10? Mm -hmm. This one's gonna have to get a nine out of 10 for me. I loved this movie. I enjoyed it through and through. If you are attending the festival and you haven't watched it yet for some reason, watch it and watch it quickly because I, I think this one is gonna, I think this one is not gonna remain on, you know, the site for the whole festival. I think this and the Naked Singularity, which I will hopefully be reviewing soon. I don't think they're gonna be at the festival for, you know, the entire run of the festival. May 21st is when The Dry comes to theaters. I definitely recommend it. It gets a 9 out of 10. Have you seen The Dry? Are you planning on seeing it? Did this review intrigue you at all? Let me know down in those comments. Please blow up that comment section. Are you excited for this movie? Are you a fan of Eric Bana? Have you missed him in the spotlight over these last several years? Let me know down in those comment sections. Please let me know. If you've liked my content, please click around here to see more. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video with your family and friends. Hit that notification bell and subscribe so you can see all my coverage of the San Francisco International Film Festival. And come to the Upside Dan.